access the beach by a small pathway on the side of the house. And as you can see from the front door, the views will bring the most beautiful Maui sunsets right inside. Welcome to your private island paradise. I'll leave you two to enjoy it. Aloha. Aloha. Wow. Do you smell the flowers? And the ocean breeze, it just kind of feels like it caresses your skin. And listen to the quiet. Jason, we're all by ourselves. And you already want to go home? Starting a new life here has to be what we both want. I don't want you to stay here no, just to please me. This is where I don't want to be. You sure? Yeah, if we would have stayed in Port Charles, something bad would have happened. I mean, this way we get a fresh start. No one knows who we are or what I used to do. It's good. I'm glad you said that. You know, this island it speaks to my soul. Maybe it'll speak to mine, too. I am banking on it, really. You know what? Um, I'm probably going to have to find a job because, uh, you know, something tells me I'm not to hang at the beat all day no, kind of guy. No, I'm not going to go to work right away. No, 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 no. We've got enough cash to coast on for a while. Okay. We don't have to rush into anything. Well, I, I, I kind of want to go see Danny right away. Okay. So if you want to come with me, I, I would love for you to come uh, with me. You know what? I'm just going to think I'm going to hang out here and just check everything out. Okay. You won't regret this. I promise. What happened? Danny didn't want to see me. Oh, Sam, I'm sorry. Did they say what? <sighs> no, I mean, Danny feels abandoned, and I can't say that I blame him. When I first decided to send him here, I guess I was just seeing things from my point of view, you know? A great school, a, a beautiful island, a school that's dedicated to serving people with special needs, you know? I didn't look at the situation through Danny's eyes. I told him that I would be there for him, and and he believed me. And I, I told him that I would visit him every two months, and I did. At first, but so much has happened this year. I, I just haven't been able to visit him in so long. I, I just got so caught up in my own life. You know, I deserted the one person who needs me the most. Yeah, I understand how you feel. I think it's what I just did there going back in Port Charles. You know, from what you and, and everyone keeps telling me, Sonny and, and Carly and the kids, and Emily, they're my family. And now they're in trouble. But I can't remember them. I don't feel a connection, but I feel like I'm turning my back on all of them, and they have to feel as slammed and as lost as Danny. No, Jason, no, that's different. Danny has a mental handicap. Without me, he is all alone in this world. Sonny, he has got so many people tripping over each other to give him whatever he wants. Carly, Rick, Reese, Justice, all of his men, Emily, she's got the whole Quartermain clan. You did not make a conscious decision to turn your back on him. You lost... Your memory. You lost the connection. Yeah, I know, but it, it was starting to come back. You know, the flashes of faces, the emotions. Who knows what would have happened if I would have stayed? Okay, well, have you, have you changed your mind? Do you want to go back? <sighs> no. No, I don't, because I left the most important person out. And that's you. You know, when you were gone, I, I took a walk down by the beach. It's amazing. Yeah. Looked up, you know, the sky was 
clear, blue. I could hear the ocean. It felt peaceful and good. The way I feel with you. You are my family. You're the only one I need. And Danny, he's gonna come around. He's gonna be a part of the family too. I think this will this will definitely work. Excuse me. What can I get for you? Um, I'll have a beer, whatever you have. Me too. I want a beer. <clears throat> this is so weird. So is that. <laughs> what? What? Okay, if I tell you, you promise not to laugh. Only no, you're, you're gonna only if you're funny. Okay, I'll tell you. I always wanted to own a business exactly like this. Like this bar? Yeah. Yeah. I used to save money that I made running cons with my father to buy a place like this. You know, a neighborhood people could come and hang out and be themselves and hopefully I'd be able to provide enough money for me and Danny and... Well, money was always an issue. And I would save the money and my father would make me feel selfish or ungrateful and either wheedle it away from me or steal it, so... Nice guy. Exactly. So what, what would you do with this place? Oh, I don't know. I'd definitely keep the monkey heads. Oh. <laughs> um... <laughs> Brighten it up a little bit, I guess. I don't, I don't know, maybe add a pool table. If there's not one in the back, I see there's a back over there. Oh, well, you know. That dream sustained me for a while anyway. Yeah. Well, why don't, why don't you see if they have a pool table? Because I'm feeling lucky. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm feeling up to a challenge. Uh, is, is, the owner, is the owner around? I'd like, I'd, like, I'd like to speak to him. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, how much? For the beer? No, no, no. No, for, for the bar. I want to buy it. Is this enough cash to open negotiations? Okay. You're gonna have to settle for pinball instead. Ah, uh, that doesn't do it for me. You have to buy that pool table after all. Hmm. Okay, I'll get right on it. I'm not kidding. What's that? Congratulations. You own this bar. No. Yeah. Morgan. Jason Morgan. <laughs> Pier 82, New York. Remember me? No. No. No, I don't remember you at all. <laughs> 